Hello. Okay, we're going. I hope this mic is working, and we're going to get somebody to read the scripture. Pastor Margaret. Okay. We're going to read Jeremiah 29, from verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you. Come on now. This is the Lord's declaration. Hallelujah. Plans for your, your welfare, yes. not for disaster, yes. to give you a future and a hope. Amen. You will call to me and come and pray to me. Amen. And I will listen to you. Hallelujah. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, the Lord's declaration. Amen. And I will restore your fortunes Amen. and gather you from all the nations Amen. and places where Amen. I banished you. The Lord's declaration. I will restore you to the place I deported you from. Praise God. And hallelujah. Hello, everyone. God bless you. This is Evangelist Salome of Bermondsey Touching Life for the young boys there. Hey. God bless what, you. And what is it that you're doing in your neighborhood or in your ministry? So if I give you the mic and just briefly share shortly so we can all uh, get everyone to share what they're doing. Well, I've been living in Bermondsey for the past 31 years. And uh, God has given me this touch to witness to the youth because I see a lot of them around me. And this is the time that uh, the Christians, this is the time that we have to go and witness to the children. We have to show them love and kindness. And the single parents, divorce, whatever they are, it is now, especially the fathers. This is the time they have to show kindness. Go out there because now what is going on? As a woman, as a woman, it is time that we have to move fast. Because what is going on with the youth now? The killing, mm -hmm. the smoking, the drugs. It's time that we have to show love Amen. and kindness Amen. to them. Amen. In the name of Jesus, let faith arise in your Done. The great thing he has done for us. Yes, amen. Psalm 118. He said, This is the day that the Lord has made. We are going to rejoice. I pray for those who are sick there. Don't die. Jesus loves you. Yes, by his tribe you are healed. Those broken hearted, reach out to God. Reach out. Jeremiah 33 3. She said, I know the thoughts. Oh, yes, I won't answer you. Call me and I will answer you. And do great and mighty things. Reach out to him. Don't die on your bed. Rise up and do something. Shake yourself up. Shake yourself up. When I was sick 10 years ago, the Lord touched me in St. Thomas's. And I've never been the same. So whoever is sick down there, just rise up and do something. Move. Those who are sick, rise up. Amen. Because Jesus died for you. Amen. By his tribe, you are healed. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Pastor Bimpy, just for a minute. Yeah. That, uh, we're oh, going to open oh, the oh, mic, nice that you, so, you sound really sort of distort, upset. What's yeah. wrong? Sorry? Do you have a prayer request? Sorry? I said you sound really upset. Are you okay? 
Yes, I'm fine. I just uh, I just wanted to pray for me. I lost my my four years old daughter. Oh. It's it just you know it's it's in your voice. I I could feel it. Yeah. So oh. I to pray for me, so I can be able to to see her. Oh, how old are you? you? You're so young yourself. How old are you? I'm 42. Mm -hmm. And what happened to your daughter? How did she? Oh, she had brain tumor. Oh, what was her name? Uh -uh. Oh, okay, sweetheart. We... We'll just pray. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God. We'll just take another call quickly. Hello, caller. Hello. And we'll just take this one more call. One minute. Hello. Hello. Hello, caller. Okay. And I just Hello, want to quickly say thank you to everyone who is here tonight. And I just hope and pray that we will meet again. Um, very soon in the coming sort of days. Uh, next month will be another meeting. So please, please be part of it. And if there's anybody who's watching us and wants to be part of this, uh, this, this lovely uh, gathering, then please give me a call. And I just want to say that as we have been blessed here in the studios, I, I, I am sure you have just received the same anointing, the same favor as we have received this evening in your homes. We bless you and we love you. And maybe if you want to go out if with anybody, singing. If anybody wants uh, God kind of married, Please feel free to contact uh, me. My telephone number is somewhere, and uh, you need the mic. Will pick it up. You need the mic, okay? If you if you are especially the lady who t says she just married mm. two years and she's yeah. having a problem, this is called the God kind of marriage, written by Reverend Wood, and it's really good. I mean, I've I've been married 25 years, December 23rd. Okay. I'll be 25 years since I'm married, okay. and I'm still learning. Amen. I'm still learning. So if you want a copy, just give me a call. Yes, and amen. And I will get you one. Amen. amen. Thank you very much. Amen. Thank you. Well, God bless you and good night and hope to see you again. Thank amen. you to everyone, Pastor thank Margaret, you. Pastor Beverly, Reverend Mercy, every one of your sisters. Thank, thank you, Pastor thank Ruth, you. as well. We love you, and uh, Jesus is still on the throne. Yes. Okay, keep loving one another and keep yes. serving him till he returns. Yes. Go in peace, serve in peace. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. To serve the Lord, it is a great thing. To serve the Lord, it is a great thing. To serve the Lord, walk in the light of.